Hello, and welcome back to Chaco's Hold. We've been jumping around between the levels yet again, and... Looks like we're getting pretty close to the end. I'm still not sure about this room, but I've got two rooms here I'll do first, and then I'll try to figure that out. So I haven't looked at this one yet, just got here last time. I get to... Hmm. Well, this looks kind of obnoxious. So what's going on here is that I don't want these golems to go past the arrows. Interesting that these are longer than they strictly need to be. But basically, once I hit this orb, and then I do want to hit it from this angle, probably. Do I want to do that? I probably don't, because then I've locked both of these, which means that every other move I make is going to be in a row that's going to be moving these. And I need to get to this and get back out. Okay, so before I, before I start killing things, how many guaranteed movements do I have by hitting the orb? By hitting the orb, they're going to go up one on the way there, and up one again on the way back. So one, two... So that gives me one turn of leeway, because they can step on the arrow, they just can't go past it. So if they're on the arrow... So that means that when I'm not traveling to and from the orb, I have exactly one turn I can spend in each of these three columns. Here... I need to go up... and down. So that's only going to use each of these once, possibly twice on the top one. I'm not too concerned about it, because I don't think I'll be spending a lot of time on that row. So that really means I have three turns of leeway for each of these. This one doesn't matter, because I'm down here at that point. Hmm. So it's like a soft restriction on what I'm allowed to do. But if I do something like this, I can get a bunch of kills in. Oops. But can I get past them now? Ah, uh, that's too many. I can't rotate there. That's potentially a problem. Okay, well, if I do that, then I can rotate again. And then I can kind of just do the same thing here. Okay. Hmm, this is getting pretty close. I think I'm fine. Because you're going to go down one more. Uh, hold on. Uh, no, this pattern's really bad, actually, because now I'm going to have to do this to get past. Yeah, okay, so this was fine, except for this being a little bit too long. Alright, well, let's just do that then. gonna be... no, that's that's too bad, I can't do that. Okay, never mind, suddenly I'm out of room. Okay. Not killing that one guy there is actually causing me a problem. There's no way I can get past these guys now. Alright, let's just start over. Well, I said that I had a lot of extra time in that top row, so let's just... kill these guys up here, like that, 
because I only need to hit this once. So that's fine. Let's never go in that row again except for stepping on that tile to hit the orb. do that. Okay, there we go. I think that's fine. Uh, wait, why? Why did I think that was fine? Okay, that's too, that's too close. You're not the same as the other one. Okay, let's just go down here then. I had lots of room. That won't let me through. I don't have lots of room. Hmm. But I'm trying to leave myself a passage here. need to leave myself a passage, it's fine. Because this, I, I then do this 1-2, uh, but 1-2 is fine, so I'm okay. I'm okay. There's no checkpoint here, that's actually kind of rude. I have to wait there, a turn. Otherwise, like if I didn't have unlimited undo, that would have forced me to redo the entire room, because I didn't let that guy through. Alright. A little bit... A little bit messy, a little bit crowded, but we got through. What do we have over here? This looks terrifying. What's going on? There are no golems in this room. Wait a minute. Okay, I guess it's a crumbly wall room. I don't want to hit these. I do not. Okay, I need to step north in order to stab the roach. Ah. Okay, so you have to go there. That's the only way we're killing this roach. We don't want to hit either of the orbs, so we have to do that. And that... Whoops, what am I doing? Uh, was that on an arrow? Yes. Okay, so you were stuck here, so that means I could have my sword facing the top, uh, the top three directions, but I can never go to this side. So from here, I just want to get down. I can get down easily, but if I hit this... If I hit this, I can step up here, step back down, kill you, make a second pass, but then this is blocked. So basically I have to do two passes through here. The first pass is easy, I can just go. Second pass, though, I need a way through that's not going to... Hmm. I need a way through that doesn't use the doors. And this shouldn't be that hard, right? So I have to do that. Do I want to break this one? Probably, because that's the only way I can get here. So next I need to break this. Breaking that... It doesn't look that hard. There we go. From here, I need this to be broken. 
So I guess the question is, have I already lost? I might have, because I need to do these in advance to chain up to it. Okay. Um, well, we're never coming back up there. But from here, we can go down to here. And do this. All right. And that's so that we can do that. Do we have to break every single one of these walls? Looks like it. Okay. So to break this one, well, that's pretty easy. The fact that I can only face north makes this pretty simple once I see what I have to do. All right, match to it. And then we do our second pass. And these are set up so I can't cut them on the way. All right. And now that's, yeah, that's the door. Okay, we're good. Well, 24th place tie, really? I thought I was pretty close to perfect on that one. Hmm. Interesting. All right, as far as symmetry goes, we are missing this room up here. And there's this, which I don't think we can get through. And then there's this room, which I looked at briefly last time, and I determined it was impossible from this entrance. Because of these three golems. Because with these tunnels here, like with these, I can only ever kill two of them. I, I think I can kill two of them here, because I kill one on this tile, one here. Uh, which means I can kill one here. Okay, so I can kill three, potentially. Um, potentially. Okay, never mind. I just saw a way to solve that. Which means... Because I, I was initially thinking I was going to have to take stairs to get into this location. Um, you know, that's going to be interesting. Given that I just analyzed it from there, it's going to make my timestamping a little bit tricky. I guess I have to timestamp it from that point and then run all the way over somehow. Uh, it was pretty close to these stairs, though, right? Because, yeah, we have to go down here. Yes. But there's one secret room there, assuming that every level has symmetry. It was established already. Uh, wrong way. All right. There we go, that's how we deal with the one. Still not sure how to deal with these, so I'm not going to worry about it just yet. Okay, so I have to do all that. How do I kill you three? I can kill one of you here. Um, so I could kill one. I could get one of you up here and then get you through the arrow. I can kill like one of you on this arrow, which is doable. All right, let's um not worry about this too much and just do the easy way. I could have done this by getting one of them up here as well, which would have been faster. Alright, that wasn't too bad. And... Yeah, again, this whole area is kind of suspic suspicious. But I crossed the trapdoor and I'm stuck and there's no way through. Uh, it does allow me to poke around with my sword. No, it doesn't because of the arrow. 
so I can't even poke around at this even if I wanted to. Alright, is there a way north from here? Anywhere. That's breakable. Doesn't let me go up, though. Does not appear to be any exit from this room. No, maybe there's no secret there. Maybe that's the joke. We caved in and we can't access it. Could also be symmetric along this axis if this is a room here. But I don't see a way through here. Okay. Uh, so we cleared this room. There's a blue door... There's a blue... Well, there's a blue door there, but... That's just to help with traversal. Uh, was there... Another set of stairs going down from here? Uh, this one. Right, in the, in the middle. Alright, so this one was an interesting take, uh, an interesting case of just, you know, sleeping on it and then coming back and looking at the room from a fresh perspective and instantly seeing how to do it. It's the kind of thing, I wonder how long I would have been stuck on that if I tried to force myself to do it in that one session. Uh, we'll grab the checkpoint. Going up. Epilogue, architects and authorities. Bethro went back up the stairs, then hit an orb. Uh, Alright. Sir, Pethro has finished clearing the dungeon. Oh, so he has. You aren't allowed back here. Well, I suppose you're free to go. Uh, text. What was the order of that? I have to attend to business. I refuse to pay you, however, for what is only routine maintenance. Oh yeah? I can contact the Dugandy authorities. You've got an entire level full of illegal explosives. Ah, do you think... Do you really think they'll listen to a mere dungeon exterminator? I think they'd much rather listen to me, an affluent member of the Dungeon Architects Association. We'll see about that. Well, I suppose I'll have to pack and make a trip to Central Dugandy. I've seen several holes with bombs in them. And I have to get the news out there. Yeah, no way to go through any of this. This is just whatever. Okay. And that is the hold with all secrets conquered. Okay, so that, that one room was a joke. I mean, you can do that kind of thing, I guess. Um, establish a pattern and then deliberately break it at the end. The cave-in was a nice touch. Alright, Pethro climbed out to the surface. He headed home, resolving to do something about the spreading of bombs in dungeons and possibly find out what those golems were. So I guess, uh, canonically... Oh, we're still not exploring something. Something in the prologue we missed. Is there a way back to the prologue? Hmm. Oh, there's that path I just never took. Ah, mastery. Okay. Well, there's an easy way to get there. What didn't fit in? Oh, we go. Uh, we got another level. Okay. I guess we're doing post mastery, or at least looking at it. Level six, glop and growth. Bethro went down the stairs. A piece of tar that was stuck to the ceiling fell down, enveloping Bethro. Ew. Well, that is a way to start a level, sure. I 
to the main entrance. Hmm. So how much of a level is this? Is this a full level, or is it just a few rooms? Uh, okay, well, this is looking like we might just be able to do this real quick. If it's a whole level, if it turns out to be a whole level, we'll probably stop without going too far into it. Uh, thanks to my fellow architect, Swivel, for introducing the DAA seal. Now, any Smite Master reading the scroll knows that this area was built by the Dungeon Architects Association. Thanks especially to Tim for playing through this hold on his own time and giving very helpful feedback. Yes, testers are important. I just released my first hold recently, and uh, there is a bunch of stuff in there that would be much worse than it ended up being if it were not for testers. So, greatly appreciate people who mess around on the architecture forums before holds are released. Within these halls, great knowledge grows. Outside the walls, there wait our foes to steal all thoughts that we compose. Let each not speak that which he knows. Yes. I didn't even read that last paragraph. I was just assuming that that's what it said. If it didn't say that, then I guess I am a fool. Uh, we do get a room. Okay. And two rooms. Okay. Uh, two rooms. I guess we'll do that now. So this is kind of interesting. This is. I wonder if this is sort of like what happened with um, with me with Pendix Fortress where I originally had planned to go longer than I ended up going. And you just kind of have like a couple of rooms from later levels that you ended up not actually including in the hold. So uh, good to see this sort of thing. So there was planned to be tar, I guess. Planned to be a tar level. This room was originally built for Neither 2 as part of his 25 levels hold. Unfortunately, since it required the use of tunnels, it had to be taken out. Or maybe these are just random rooms. Okay. Never mind. So we have a Tar Mother. We can just kill the Tar Mother, but we probably don't want to do that. And uh, she's going to spawn a bunch of babies every 30 turns. We can close that at any time. Presumably, there is a reason why we don't want to do that. I guess the reason is this 2x4 here. Because we hit this, this lets us get back through which is going to increase the amount of tar babies spawning per cycle. Then we need to get around again. Ah, no, so what's happening here is we cut here the first time, wait 30 turns, cut again, and then that gets us through. But if we wait two cycles, what does this do? It closes that. Why would we ever want to hit that? So yeah, it spawns three fewer tar babies per cycle. But we need to get these four out. Like, isn't this just a matter of just rushing? I mean, I guess if I kill these, then we're going to have fewer babies. Maybe that's the thing. If we kill these, then we have fewer babies, which means that when we're dealing with this stuff, we don't have to worry about getting any tar here. Okay, so there's two two different approaches to this room. I'm going to go with the first approach, which is not hitting this orb, and then cleaning this up at the end. But I feel like the safer route would be to clear these now and hit this orb, so that we don't have anything in this area. Um, as long as we can get all these babies out by turn 60, we're fine. But as it stands... So 30, we get to here. Let's... Um, actually, I don't have to wait for those, necessarily. Uh, was I too slow? No, made it in time. Now, the problem is, I am here. And what's that? That, okay. So for this approach, I had to hit this first, because you guys are going to get, yeah, some of them are going to get stuck in there, and that's a loss, because I can't. Alright, so that approach did not work. I thought I had to kill these fast enough, but, well, let's try it one more time. And instead of going up...
we just go here right away. Uh, oh, we already have that problem. Okay. No, so we have to wait up here until that happens. Okay. Then, we try the same thing, but we hit this first. Oh, our sword's facing the wrong way. Okay, well, we blocked that before it became a problem. And now that this is closed, we can just go in here, right? Yeah, that gets us in here. And that opens these? No, I never hit that. Okay, so I think we're okay. Because as long as... oh. As long as you spawn. Well, never mind then. Did not see that that was going to happen. That is the reason why this doesn't work. Um... Not necessarily. I can just do another pass. So actually it doesn't matter at all if anything got stuck in here. Because I can just run through it again and still get out. Okay. something going on here. I feel like this room maybe wasn't quite quite thoroughly tested. So there were a bunch of things there. Like maybe the room ended up being scrapped rather than being worked on. So then it just kind of ended up there. I don't know. Here. This one came to me in a dream one night. Implementing it took a while, but it's one of my best works, in my opinion. Okay, well that's promising. So here we have a... Does this door exist so that we can't just put a mimic here? I mean, we can just put a mimic here and walk in. Um... Well, okay, this would be a reason why we can't. We can put a mimic in one of these four spots and then get it in that way. Uh, probably don't want to do that. Okay, so we're not... We're not Cheating this, uh, this tar baby. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, so I need to hit this orb. I think I see what this is about. Oh. Uh, what's with the trapdoor gate? There are no trapdoors in this room. Why? Why do you exist? Like, this could just be a wall. There's not a spider in there. Like, this could just be a wall. Okay, well... We want to hit the orb before this happens. Oh, there's a trapdoor here. Wait. I mean, I don't. I don't have a spare. I don't have a spare mimic. So that's not happening. 
Anyway, what I think is going on with this room is that I have to clear this tar, but I have to do it quickly using the mimics, which is going to be a pain because I'm going to have to finagle them out of this setup. I don't know, Jacko. This looks like a royal pain, to be honest. That might not have been the right orientation. Yeah. The problem here... Well, I can do it this way. No? There we go. Hopefully I have a lot of time here. So I did that, but now... Turning... Well... Ah, oh, shoot. I can't... I can't do that. So, this is a turn order issue, isn't it? Because if it was you moved before you, this wouldn't be a problem. Alright, so I want... I probably just reversed you guys. Instead of going 1, 2, 4, 3... Like 1, 2, 4, 3... Let's go one, just 1, 2, 3, 4 down the bottom. So we put you here. That. Okay, so now... something like this. And if I do this, I can... Hmm. I can do that. And then I kind of want to just reverse here, and I can't let any mimics die. Okay, well, let's start from lower down, so we can do that. All right. Uh, don't don't want to do that just yet. Ah, uh, shoot. Okay, got it in time. And from here... Okay, this was a lot less painful um, than it could have been. I appreciate the lenient timer. And now it's just a matter of getting the... the mimics into here at the end. This is still going to be kind of a pain. Uh, I can just do that, okay. Not being in the same level as everyone certainly helps. Uh, you know what? It's going to make this a lot easier. Oh. I chose the worst... Ah. Guys, stop. There we go. I wanted to get in a different row from you guys, and then I could just feed you in like this. Alright. Um, okay, let's just go up here. Push you guys out that way. Eh, 
Jen got it. Yeah, so not as bad as it could have been. Alright, and I guess that's it for Postmastery. We can check the restore screen. 100% explored. Um, I'm assuming that's it for Chaco's Hold then. I guess I'll check the website to make sure that I have all high scores, but every level is fully explored and I didn't see any other exits. So I guess... I guess that means that I'm done. Alright. And I'm quite interested to see how this is going to... to compare. So this is the whole idea. I was going to be playing Treacle Stew, which is Chaco's most recent hold, so that's what I'll be starting next time. I was kind of curious to see uh, how how Chaco's architectural style has changed over the years, if it has. Now, it's going to be a little bit weird because one big change is just going to be the number of elements that are available. Uh, presumably, there will be gel. But also just things like pressure plates uh, completely change how you approach architecture. So, yeah, it'd be quite interesting to see how Treacle Stew ends up playing out. I'm not entirely sure that there are any valid comparisons to be made between the two. Uh, this was a pretty solid entry uh, for first for first hold. This was really good. Um, I'd say even just as a hold, it's really good. Like, not even just as a first hold, but just as a hold, this was a pretty solid set of puzzles all the way through. And yeah, looking forward to Treacle Stew. I'll see you then.